Gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. 16 wins, three losses, two, no contest. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Adrianopolis, Parana, Brazil. Presenting the number seven ranked flyweight contender in the world, Ogerio Montori. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a brawler, holding a professional record, 12 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 125 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Inglewood, Colorado, presenting the number five ranked flyweight contender in the world, Brandon Our referee in charge, Mark Smith. Mark Smith, third man in for this flyweight matchup. Chrissy Blair with us here in Las Vegas. Good to see Kai Kata France watching along with us here. And to borrow your nickname, Kai, don't blink. Rogerio Montanin and Brandon Voival. I'd expect fireworks if I were you. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. No touch of the gloves, right to the action. Roy Ball is the favorite at minus 165 in the white. Rogerio Bontadin, small underdog in the black. One of the things Roy Ball said is that right there. He wants a lot of fakes, a lot of feints, because he said Bontadin's a counter striker. And then you break that up by faking. And that's what you're seeing early. Fakes, fakes, fakes to try to get him guessing. Yeah, and I think Roy Ball as the higher output, whereas Bontari possesses much bigger power, you know. I mean, when he lets go with the hand, oh, look at that, took the standing leg out. But we'll see that with Roy Val straight back to the feet. He's in perpetual motion. Roy Val will not settle for anything. Actually, he's trying to dial it back in his training, be more professional instead of going crazy on a heavy bag before, during, and after practice. Just, you know, train smart. Save hey, it for the octagon. But you gotta train the way that you gotta fight. You gotta be and yourself, he fights right? a little bit crazy. You know, it's non-stop action. So keep doing what you're doing, bud. And he's looking good here. This is definitely a bit more composed for him. Controlling the cage here. He's got Montarine on the back foot against the fence. Pumping that jab out there. Trying to set up the right hand. That's what he's looking for. Nice check hook. And that's what he's faking for. He's trying to get Montarine to run in forced to pass the range then he's going to counter him but the fakes are what pull out all of the things that Rogerio is looking for and it's a bit varied inside you see that that was his job then there was a body kick a calf kick a flying knee that's what Bontori is going to do though he's got to go forward he's going to insert himself into this fight right now he's waiting for the perfect opportunity it's not going to present itself you're going to go forward you're going to create those opportunities that right hand already landed for Bontarine, though, so keep an eye on that. That's going to be his biggest weapon against the South Paul Royval. Bontarine with the body lock after the exchange, and there's the strength. Yeah. This is where you see the tightness. Look how, I mean, there's just no space whatsoever. And this is what he did in his last matchup, where he was able to get the finish. He stays here, and he slowly works into the next position. But, Royval is no slouch on the ground, so this could be interesting to see how it matches up here. If I'm Royval, I'm keeping chipping away with those elbows. Just little, big, big, big back of the head. It's going to bother him. He's going to create the separation. And that's what he needs. He needs a little bit of space so he can maneuver into a better position. Try and get guard, half guard, work back to his feet. Bontorin is just so tight. He's going to look to throw in that left hook. If he, if, nope, Royval stays on his back. So from here, he'll look to throw in that left hook. 
Slowly working up though. It's nice work by Roy Val. Gonna watch his neck though. Oh, Octray just looks very strong in that position. He just looks very strong. Just looks strong right there. Yeah. That, that was pure power right there to stop Roy Val from getting out. Kicked off nice. Roy Val. Turns to his feet. 90 seconds to go round one. Round three. Works on the family farm down in Brazil. That's where he gets that farm strength. <laughs> Roy Ball back to being busy on the feet, trying to control the center. Andre looking very calm though. He's looking very calm, but I think in rounds two and three, he's gonna up the output, you know, because he's looking for the perfect shot, as I said before, and listen, he has the power to get a knockout. I mean, look at the guy, look what he can do. He's very strong, clearly powerful and explosive. But this is good, he's got him down. Working for the armor platter. There's the go go putter you yeah. were talking about yeah. earlier that he yeah. lost the space on. Let's see what Andre can do. Can he keep it down the last 30? See, look at it, constantly working, just chipping away. All the little shots, those elbows, they're a problem though as well. They will open up cuts. Constantly working. You very rarely see Roy Val just pausing or stalemating or just not having any output. <laughs> Rolls. Well, Granby roll to try to escape. Montre making a nice adjustment and keeping in his, keeping a hold of him. Second round coming up. Hi, B. Sit for me, son. Hey, sit for me. Let's get that ice under his armpit. Hey, deep breath, deep breath. A little water on your head, okay? All right, listen to me. You're getting a touch lazy with your backside kick, okay? okay. Happen when you. Hey, deep sir. breath, okay? Hey, have some fun in there. Have some fun close round. But I need you to fucking work here, okay? Next Saturday, the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship fight headlines the show from the OC. Devastating finisher Francis Ngannou faces French standout Sid Ogon. Boss Mexican superstar Brandon Moreno looks to defend his flyweight title against former champ Davis and Figueiredo. UFC 270 is next Saturday. Available for purchase only on ESPN+. Plus. Straight away, the seconds into oh. round two. Oh, nicely done by Bontari. Big left sits him down. Yeah. Go for the triangle. It, it's, it's, he's close to pulling out. There it is. He's trying to work for a knee bar here. Bontari, just great position. He's staying safe at all the submission attempts of Roy Val so far. Keeping good position, looking to pass here, get to side mount. He gets it, now he takes oh, the back. Nicely done. And this is where he got a finish recently. This is one of his strengths right here, is when he keeps that, when he gets that back, he's so good at staying tight here. Let's see if he can keep it. Because Roy Ball, like you said, Bisbee, he doesn't stop moving. He's always scrambling, always fighting. And, and that's what makes it tough to hold him. He's like a wet fish holding on to him. Yeah, and what Roy Val's doing right now, he's trying to get flat on his back. He's going to move to the side of Bontarine, get both of his shoulder blades on the mat. Therefore, the choke is gone, and then he's almost in a position where he can turn into his opponent. He kind of abandoned when the opposite side. Bontarine, a nice adjustment straight to half guard, and he's staying on the hip, and he's keeping Roy Val from from moving and getting his legs involved. Notice Roy Val's legs can't get involved because he's keeping a hold of the hips. And he's just staying tight in that half guard position right here, burning the clock. Roy Val with the guard back now. And chooses to stay down. He's got the omoplata here. And he's looking to create space with that. Nice job by Bontorin to just crowd right through it, get to the punch. And this is what I mean, look how strong, he's just powerful and strong in every position. It doesn't give a whole lot of space, and he's just nullifying Roy Val and all his stand-up by, by utilizing this power on top. Roy Val will try to use the fence now, less than three minutes to go round two. Yeah, but the way Bontorin's got his hands clasped together, he's letting go now, but a moment ago, it's, it's almost impossible to get up when they're doing that, but as I say, he let it go, and he is back to his feet, nicely done. 
going to turn it right for a trip here. He wants to kick that leg out. Mm -hmm. Robert Bryan, let go of it. Rival feels it. He's trying to stop it. That kick right there is what he's looking for. But it's a it's a chess game right here up against the fence. Wants to use the fence. Got got it. That's what Rival was looking for right there. This is what I like about Roy Van. The moment they separate, he immediately went to her. There was no taking a few seconds. Oh, with the left hook over the top of that lead hand of Roy Ball. Nice body. Oh. Man, these guys are trading. It's fun. Power double. Yeah. Nicely done. A little high right now. Let's see if he can get, get control of these hooks. Nice job. Guys. Yeah, he abandoned the back control because he knew he was going to fall off. Smart decision making. Roy Vall back to his feet, but still in the grasp. It's just power and strength that we're seeing out of Monterey to win these positions. A little technique involved as well. I mean, yeah, but I mean, realistically, with the technique, they're, they're basic positions. Elbows in, as we work through, all fucking calf, let's go. Turn in. Hey, turn it down. So we just saw in a replay a moment ago when Roy Vall hit the floor and kind of stumbled. It wasn't from a punch. His left ankle rolled. Oh, okay. Yeah, so his left ankle rolled and he kind of lost balance. Down, it went down. But he jumps right back up, so I don't think there's any damage. He just, you know, it happens. People are swinging, punches, kicks, oh. trying to knee you in the face. You might lose footy. Body kick for Roy Vall. I mean, Roy Vall has landed all the strikes, though, on the feet, pretty much. I mean... Yeah. It's pretty much been grappling versus the striking of Roy Vall so far. Yeah, significant strikes, 28 to 12 in favor of Roy Vall. Roy Vall fainting his way in, looking for that left cross. Backed up again, there's the power of Montanini. Oh, big left. It's just non-stop pressure off Roy Vall, but he's got to be careful. He's got to control that. Nicely done. Right into side control. In the center of the octagon as well. Makes it even harder to recover. But that ain't gonna matter at the end of the round. And a big second round for Hogerio Pontarine. Third round coming up. Stop. All right, babe, sit down, son. Sit down for me. Water under, or under his armpit, please. Hey, a little water on your head. Hey, listen to what I'm saying to you. I need you to breathe and recover. Hey, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. This is a 1-1 one, one fight, okay? Okay, now listen. What you're doing right now with the grappling and everything, just pulled a bunch of energy out of him. But if you don't get off the center when you're done, okay. he's just countering you like we knew was gonna happen. You have to move off center when you're done. If you will just slightly move off center and then re-attack off of his counter, we fucking win this fight, you feel me? Okay, hey, here's a drink. Listen to Coach Kenny. All you gotta do is just stay off the center. Do what we've been doing. Use your angles. Pop that double jab. Stay long. Let's go, boys. B, let's go, let's go. B, you're gonna have to decide right here on the stool. Let's go, let's go. Where the fuck we're we gonna do right now? You gotta win a fucking fight. Stay off center. Super Wild Card Weekend is capped off with the first ever Monday night playoff game right here on ESPN, ESPN Plus, and ABC. Right, guys, Kyler Murray and the Cardinals take on Matthew Stafford and the Rams. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Our mega cast coverage also includes Peyton and Eli on ESPN2 and E+. Plus. Between the lines on ESPN Plus and our ESPN Deportes Spanish language broadcast. All right, Roy Ball's got his work cut out for him after some great work by Rogerio Bontarín in round two. Yeah, but, but he he's is not slowing down. Oh, no. He never does. He never slows down. Tremendous cardio on gas tank. A really good corner work from Mark Montoya saying, listen, I love the pressure, but you've got to take your head off the center line. Can't be there to be counted. The thing is, he's constantly moving forward, constantly pressuring him. And Bontoya is finding the openings. I think some knees for Roy Ball following his hands will really create some success for him because we're seeing Bontarin come in inside. He's going for the takedowns a lot. So body shots and knees, those those right there will really support him. Yeah, and Roy Ball needs a tight guard as well, in my opinion. Tying it up as he's going in, chin down a little bit, hands higher, you know? Because even if Bontarin throws, he's defended himself. Roy 
Paul able to shuck him off from the center. Still applying the pressure. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice the big shot to change this fight instead. Oh, another takedown for Bontadine. Gonna pull that over the arm. Bontadine's gonna reverse position here. I think that's what I mean by power. It's like this is, yeah. we're seeing Roy Vell use techniques, but Bontadine, he's just being strong. I mean, he's, he's just squeezing. Roy Ball and keeping him there. It's not like super crazy techniques or, or positions. He's just strong and, and holding on to the position much better than Roy Ball can get out of it. Yeah, I mean, he's got a clear grasp of the fundamentals, and then when you yeah. combine that with the kind of build that he has, he's very stocky and thick. Oh, oh nice arm bar. Power out of that. Oh, it looks he almost tapped. I, he <laughs> thought about it. He <laughs> might have even tapped, let's be honest, but I doubt it. That was a beautiful tr attempt. And that's what Ramal needs. He's going all in because he knows he could get yeah. down every round. Right? He's trying to suck that elbow in past his leg, then he can cinch up the triangle. Nicely defended, though, by Bonturin. Goes for the leg, gets back to the feet. Oh, he tried an elbow as he came in. <laughs> I mean, 10 out of 10 for creativity. Final two and a half, though. Roy Ball's got some work to do. We showed you the takedown number for Bontadine. He's at seven takedowns. He had seven total takedowns in his previous five UFC appearances combined. Listen, they just showed the or six, I of think. the top situation. It looked like a tap, didn't it? It looked like I a tap. I was going to say it like too loud here, but it looked like he was tapping. He was looking at the well, referee. He definitely thought about it. <laughs> it looked like he definitely, he definitely thought about it. He definitely is what he did, but who knows? Maybe he was like slapping, slapping the leg. I think he thought about it, but I don't know if he did it. Hey, we know what that looks like. Call that a Peterson. We're about working hard here. Look at that nicely done. That's really good work. Try and this back is big. attempt to create a scramble and get on top. Let's see if he can use it and stay there. Really close fight. Roy Val got round one. Once we made adjustments, took round two. This is anybody's fight right now. And with Roy Val getting on top with 90 seconds left, if he can maintain this position and do some work, do some damage, he might just steal it. They're decent little shots. I'd carry on with those. Yeah, I would hate to judge this fight. Been a tough night in judging. And Bontadine has that left leg of Royval just locked down. Legs laced up. Final minute of this fight. It almost shows you, like, what if Roy Ball gets the takedowns earlier in this fight? Can he keep Bontarin down? Because, look, we're seeing Bontarin just keep a hold of the half guard. He's not really trying to get up. He's squeezing Roy Ball into him. So could Roy Ball have kept Bontarin down the entire fight? Maybe if he tried it earlier. We, we don't know because Roy Ball kept it on the feet until now. And Roy Ball li likes to do damage with the, the striking, you know? Ah. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. This is really good work. The experience, I mean, to do this earlier in the fight, if you had a possibility, the experience of doing that might have, might have helped him a lot. A couple of those elbows really found the mark. He could still win with this, actually. Like, the way he's winning this third round is huge for the judges. And he's going to work. All right, boy ball, final seconds ticking down here. And he's trying to put a stamp on the third round, if not a finish. Yep, he has not stopped. Wow. Great effort from Brandon Royval and Rogerio Bontarin, who go the distance. We're going to show you that exchange in the armbar attempt from Brandon Royval. And here's Rogerio Bontarin, who looked at Mark Smith, did not tap. We get the judges' scorecards when we come back. scores the contest. 29-28 Roy Val. Douglas Crosby scores it. 29-28 Bonturin. And Chris Lee scores the contest. 29-28 for the winner by split decision. Brandon Roy Val.